George 6 welcome back to the channel. So we're going to talk about having a gun inside the bathroom. You know, if you're taking a shower, if you actually bring a gun inside your bathroom, if you're using the bathroom, you actually bring a gun with you. Now, I think this is interesting because there have been cases where the bad guys are breaking in and the guy's actually taking a shower. You know, it was a, a case that just happened recently. Now, I got to tell you guys, I pretty much carry a gun on me. 99.9% .9 of the time. I mean, either I'm dressed right now wearing my tactical shorts and I have my gun on me or, you know, I have it next to me. I typically do the whole Marine Corps thing, you know, one arm distance. I'm very close to my handgun 99.9 .9 of the time here in the house. But I got to tell you guys, a few months ago, I actually found myself in a situation. I was taking a shower and I hear this noise. I mean, it was loud. So I jump out of the shower, I run across the master room, I do like a ninja slash combat roll over my bed, grab my Glock 17, and I attempt to uh, uh, address that situation. Now, it comes to find out that my dog, <laughs> Marley, you guys seen her, was going up and down the stairs like really crazy. So again, she's kind of scared the crap out of me. But the good thing about that is that it allowed me to identify some things about my home security plan, you know, my home defense plan. And first of all, the first thing that I learned is that having a flashlight in your pistol is critical. That's something that I learned. I know a lot of you guys will argue that it's better to have a light up here and all that good stuff. Got it. I got to tell you, for home defense, having a light is critical. Use it if you, if you need to. Don't use it if you don't need to. That is that simple. Now, guys, the other thing that I learned is that it actually took me about 5 to 10 seconds to grab my gun. Now, I don't know if that was fast. I don't know if that was, uh, you know, I don't know the stats on the bad guys kicking that front door and actually making it to the master room. I'm sure there's some stats out there. Put them down in the comments if you know. But, again, it took me a little bit to get into uh, to get to my gun. So, again, if a bad guy breaks into the house and I don't really notice and that bad guy makes it to the master room, I would not have the opportunity to get out of the uh, get out of the bathroom, run across the master room and grab my gun. So essentially that bad guy would have been, you know, possibly was able to grab my own weapon and use it against me. So again, guys, is it a good idea to have a gun inside the bathroom? Well, I, I think it is. And you know, if you're gonna go into the bathroom for a while, I don't think it's a bad idea bringing a gun. So, but the question to that is, is it really practical? Is it you as your regular life, as your father, as you know, as a husband, as a person that just in your house, are you going to be, be bringing a gun from room to room as you go or are you going to home carry 99.9% .9 of the time unless you're sleeping? I guess the answer is going to be up to you guys. You're going to have to make that decision. That's You're the only one that can make that decision. I cannot tell you how to carry and what to do. But I'd like to hear you guys' opinion. Let me know if you think it's a good idea to carry in the bathroom or not. Let me know if you do it. How do you do it? Do you have like a special uh, box where you put your gun? So, you, I don't know. You know, maybe maybe some tactical company sells like a tactical shower uh, gun holder or something. Let me know. If you, they do, put it down below. As always, if you like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and as always, guys, God is in control.